Mike and Jared, the LA County Sheriff says that one of the victims was actually shot out here in the parking lot while sitting in his car. He says the gunman then went inside into the dance studio and carried out his rampage. In all, they found some 42 shell casings at this location. I grew up here and it, it just, I just can't believe it's happening in our community. Mourners continue to drop by the Monterey Park Dance Studio and leave candles and flowers in honor of the victims. Meantime, sheriff's investigators are looking into what may have motivated 72-year-old Wu Kan Tran of carrying out the deadliest mass shooting in L.A. County history. Additional units requested multiple victims, gunshot wounds. Did he plan this? Was it the day of? Was it a week before? Uh, what, dri what drove a madman to do this. Authorities are trying to confirm reports that Tran was jealous that a woman he knew went to the Lunar New Year dance party without him. Officials believe Tran frequented both the Monterey Park Ballroom and the Alhambra Dance Studio, where the owner's son managed to wrestle a gun away from Tran on Saturday, which the sheriff says saved lives. What a brave man he is. Investigators recovered that gun, a 9mm semi-automatic MAC-10 assault weapon, and a handgun from inside the white van where Tran's body was found. They also recovered 42 shell casings at the Monterey Park Dance Hall and a large capacity magazine. The sheriff says during a search at Tran's home, they found several guns, a stockpile of ammunition, electronics, and evidence Tran was making silencers. Items that lead us to believe the suspect was manufacturing homemade firearm suppressors. The sheriff says detectives will also be investigating reports that Tran told him at police that his family committed fraud and theft against him and they tried to poison him. Our investigators will be looking uh, at all those factors to see if it contributed to the madness that occurred. And as for a criminal history, well, the sheriff says it's very limited. Tran was arrested back in 1990 for unlawful possession of a firearm. For now, reporting live here in Monterey Park, Mary Beth McDade. We'll send back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.